Hello, welcome to the Sunless Sea episode 4. I'm actually looking for food, I think, because I, I say there's going to starve pretty soon if, if I don't find some. Ooh, this island looks like a whale, doesn't it? Oh, speaking of which, can I shoot that thing or is it desperately huge? And my hull is half power anyway. Hmm. 196 out of 210. Ah. My hull is on 8. I think I need to get out of here. Nope, too late. Hole up there, see. Why, another one destroyed. Time for a correspondent. Can keep the chart or something. Alpha Tucana. Cause why not? Vice for captains. Sell it. Read the news. And trade recent news for gossip somewhere. Gaiders mourn in the Corsair's forest, somewhere not far from home. Hmm. Well, if I look at the, uh, the chart, I don't think I've seen any Corsair's forest, so it may be out here. It's about time I went away from the coast, isn't it? Let's go. Oh, hello. Go. Launch, right. Should I want to keep the light on, what the hell? I'll gather any port reports that are on the way anyway. I don't need the light.
Trade news. I have a Z story. Hooray. Anything else? Nope, don't want any more fuel. That's it. Right. This way. sized basalt beasts. Oh. Fungal Tisani and tea cakes. We get funding from the bazaar, it's true, but Station 4? I wouldn't call a Station 4, it's a little grandiose. The stones are stuffed with secrets, but most of them are used as garden statuary or occult ballast. Most of them. Some go down to the places under the bazaar. More tea cakes? Gained a fragment. Right. Shops? Nope. Might be worth talking to the officer, mightn't it? What's he on about? Chelon Gate. Hmm. Lovely. Okay. New shops. Right. Well. Uh, I'm in port, so I guess he will clear off. Maybe I can wait for him to go. Or sink him, I don't know. Five out of 180. Yes, he's, he's likely to win. So my hole is 71 out of 75. 23. I think I'm knocking him down faster than he's knocking me down.
clash of curiosities. Perfect. And no food. Whatever it is smells heavenly. Let's go for it. Soup! I have three zoop. Whatever the heck they are. But let's go back. Um, let's check my inventory or whatever it is. Three soup. Old blood on snow. Paprika mushrooms irony. Hmm. Closely guarded recipe. Right. Hmm. back to Wolfstack Docks in old London town. Wherever it is, somewhere over here. I suppose I have no more money, but what the heck. Port here, can't I? While I'm around, if I don't have one already, I probably do. It's good. with one of the ladies. Cynthia. Cynthia grasps your arm and whispers to you. Her eyes are wide and blue. Her hair is wild and tangled. Bats might nest in it. It seems to you that you are sitting on a hillside above a wide blue lake, listening to the story of a murder, an axe, a net, blood on scented water. Another chop, Cynthia asks. You've barely touched your food. Here, I'll have the maid wrap something up for you. You can't be hungry. It's not safe to be hungry. So there. Gained another supply. Total is now three again. Launch. Now where is this wolf stack place that I've come from? Check the chart. Down a bit. Come on, 
Bags of some free stuff. Let's visit the Admiralty. Hunters keep resubmitted. I gain a fuel. I have 15. An Admiralty favour. A port report hunt. Hunters go over. Okay. Gain 5 echo. 125. Ooh. How do, where do they all come from? <laughs> Is that it? Okay. Hmm. Carouse in the docks. Can I like fix the boat? Ah. Oh. Three supplies they want, I see. Hmm. Hundred echo. Seventy five echo. Better be cheap and hopefully you've done a decent gob go job. Okay. Let's do the shops first. I need supplies. Always running out. Is there anything I can sell? Could sell three zoop for seventy. Really? Oh. Get rid of them, right. Now we're getting somewhere. Mushroom wine. Sell it for slightly more than I buy it. Should I be buying a super duper weapon? Tempted to get a super duper weapon. <clears throat> How do I know which is good? Weapon of respectable power. Thirty two, twelve, one more time. Crew damage one, or Crew damage two. Costs one torpedo components per use. Right. Hull damage twelve, life damage twenty two, crew damage two, warm up time four. Excuse me. So this one is hull damage twenty eight. That's hull damage twelve. That's Hull damage 12. I've got that, which is hull damage 8. Let's sell it. Okay. It's hull damage 18, but we use as one torpedo components per use. Yeah, I don't want that. So, 
12, 12, 1, 4. 12, 22, 2, 4. I don't know what the crew damage means. My crew or the other crew? <laughs> Hopefully it's the other crew, yeah. Let's buy it. So I have 30 left, right? Buy some more supplies, I have 10 left. Now maybe I can go and find somebody to shoot. Let's have a look at my chart. launch. No idea where I should be going of course. Maybe let's go slightly to the north after these places. In a way, what I could do with is a faster boat. I'm close to the salt line. the bearded watchman tells you there are no actual shepherds on the shepherd piles. Compile a port report. Yeah. Tentacles. Then we saw his highness. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Lots of weird stories. Let's have a look at the stones then. They can row me across to the stones, uh, the standing stones. My sailors watch the fireflies shimmer, swap shanties, pass around the grog and shy stones at the more of empirically inclined zaymats. The shy the verb there, throw. <laughs> across the dark water, the lights of Abbey Rock glow watchfully. Your person hands you something. Found a rock, he reports upon it. Pretty sure it's dead. Supply. 
supplies. Okay, at the moment, this funky gun, I should put it on here somehow, shouldn't I? I should head back home. Maybe I can do it at Wolfstack Docks or something. Can I shoot? Nope, no weapons. Hmm. How annoying. do something with this gun. 
No. Why the heck not? Do I put it up here? Nope. Put it there. No. No. Nope. Nope. Maybe this boat can't do it, can't handle it. Hmm. Well, it must be a forward weapon, and this ship presumably can't take a forward weapon. I need a deck or an auxiliary or bridge or some other sort of weapon. Okay. Who awaits my attention? A sailor. Not needed, I think. Get some news. Got some supplies. Had a restful night. Lost some money. I have zero now. Brilliant. Yeah. So I could try and sell a tomb colonist. I've tried it before. They always seem to just go there without my selling them. I don't know. No damn use, is it? Forward weapon, I don't need that. I need a, a deck weapon, which is what I had originally. Eight damage. Can I get something for a hundred? No, I'll be back where I started, basically. Mushroom wine. Twenty-one. Didn't they like that up north where the where the tomb guy goes? Let's buy one and see. I could sell my engine and Also a bit much. Ah, uh -huh. C. 
feet. Yeah. Brilliant. Let's go and try and sell this guy. See if I can sell this guy somehow. Dog. Shop. How come he doesn't let me sell him? It's like straight away. Look for the shady sword in the mangrove college. I lost my tomb colonist with no compensation. Or did I? Mushroom wine, sell for 23. I don't know. Wasn't it 21 when I bought it? It's not much better. Sell it. Memory of distant shores. Recent news, yeah, sell it. Money, money, money. A raggedy fellow. All right. There will be further effects from this decision. Mm. There was a sailor who came begging to you for a berth. 
He's done good work, this one, but he's keeping a little shrine to the salt, the nameless god of the horizon, at the back of the hold. <coughs> Oh, the low that's right, okay. Hmm. I've gained the salt's attention. <laughs> Anything else? Glass of wine. Fifty echoes? What? Jeez. Visit the first curator. He's going to die soon or something. Right. All right, get this commission of the colours. Gather gossip. Well, let's go. No shops, oh, I've done that. Hmm. out here and see what I get. Hmm. What is this? A big lighthouse or something? Oh. Steepled building on the horizon, by far the largest thing in sight. No cross marks of it, nor any other symbol you recognise. Try the gate. sign that might show what sort of ships dock here and what they deliver, but you find nothing conclusive. Not even so much as a smear of pitch or a damp footprint. If any ship but yours has been tied up here in recent days, it has left no evidence. Ten supplies, twelve fuel, I'm okay for a bit. Seems to be some light down here as well. Wolf's Rift, I don't know why that. And whatever it is, what about this? Oh, this is the Standing Stones place, right? Been here. Wouldn't hurt to try a different story, I suppose.
What's on there? The island to the northwest. You know the Downies? The sailors that won't rest? Well, they rest there. I've seen them coming up out of the water, all white and dripping, and dig themselves into the ground. They take turns. I think they miss the feel of the earth. Who, uh... Mm-hmm. Nothing else? Okay. No shops, presumably. Oh, I could buy fuel for 20. Hmm. Nope. Look at these sailor guys who hang around. In the watches of the night, you pad softly past the hatch to the crew quarters. A man cries out softly in his sleep, desperately. Another. crew is subdued as it ate no meals, but, but all is quiet in the next watch. Watch, I've lost one terror. Ha ha ha. And what is this place? Labyrinth in is it actually doable? I don't think it is. Um, oh, yes, it is. Pink. Strange stuff here. Looks a bit like a distorted France, doesn't it? grapes and grapes the size of apples. Of course the island is only visible in blue light, then only for an instant, but if we find it, my hearts, if we find it. They grin. They don't exactly believe it, but they'd like to. I would like to find a port. Hey, how am I supposed 
surprised you by the way. Eight. Getting a little low, but here's a port. into the side of a coral island. Chess is popular. Hmm. The chess pieces are carved from Sintelac, and that can be dangerous. A straightforward challenge. Explore the coral knoll around the port, gather intelligence, put Blemingen ashore, I don't have him. A very chancy challenge. Hmm. Where the Z washes across the coral's edge, bloody bloody blah. Gain seven terror. I succeeded. I have three Sintelac. Excellent. Nice writing, eh? Where the Z washes across the coral's edge, it glows a rich purple. Each time it washes across your boots, you expect it to leave stains. You edge along the slippery coral, picking up lumps of brighter glowing stuff here and there. And though the Z doesn't stain, eventually it begins to whisper to you. Phrases so clear that you catch yourself looking over your shoulder in case your crew have spoke. They have not. They're looking around just as you are. Between stars, the Z says, descend the chain. When it runs out across the coral, it sounds almost like a soft chuckle. I rest here, it tells you. I forget. Anything else? Chess? Gather intelligence? Let's do that. Port reporter? Yay! And chess. Odd thoughts bubble up each time you touch a chess piece. This one longs for home. That one has a secret desire for revenge against the slayer of its rank mate. This will be a queen one day. These would do better as metal. You taste the metal. You ignore these thoughts and move methodically to a victory over your opponent. He blinks. Checkmate, he asks helplessly. Win enough games and something else will occur. Again. A very chancy challenge this time. Enough of that. I think I should try and head home. Supplies are modest, I might get a ton of money. Let's see. Oops, what am I doing? Wrong buttons again. Right. Launch. I'd have a bit of a look around here while I'm here, though. It's not bad, is it? I think I'm up in the north again, where these things were last time I saw them.
Check my charts. Yeah, see. I can just go across. Say through here and then down. I can explore a bit more as I go. Oh, this is another port. I haven't been here, I don't think. Oh, I haven't been here, I do think. I don't know how one's supposed to say that. <laughs> On a lonely desert beach, there is no habitation in sight, no market, only an old rotting dock. Tall fungal growth with frond like caps. As soon as you step on the quay, you hear clamour, shouts, and shooting. You can see, off in the distance, smoke rising from beyond the hill. The dots of fire flecking the horizon. Oh, and dots of fire flecking the horizon. Two tiny figures stand a little further down the quay, unmoving, as if awaiting your approach. The following is an extract from the popular diary of a sea captain from London to Irem and what we did there before we arrived. Washed ashore on Mutton Island and subsequently serialised in the Unexpurgated Gazette. The author's identity remains unknown. The Tale of Pigmoat Isle, in which a delegation is made, a choice is presented, war is declared, a most singular treasure is sought by all, and a new empire is founded with tooth and claw. To read it. Okay. The figures were rodents. To my left was a ratus faber, wearing goggles, a blacksmith's apron, and an assortment of tools. To my right, an unusually large guinea pig, wearing a helmet and breastplate, reminiscent of nothing so much as the high Middle Ages. The rat stepped forward first and bowed. Welcome, Captain, to Ratstar Island. I'm Edgar, second chief engineer of the third rat brigade. I invite you to avail yourself of food and fuel at our expense. The only cost to you is a choice. The rat stepped back. At precisely the same moment, with what appeared to be the ease of long habit, uh, the guinea pig scuttled forward and made a declamatory chirp. Welcome, Captain, to the Isle of Caviar. I am Lady Augusta Devereux Swinch of the Blackwater Swinches. Seneschal to our king, I don't know that word, to our king Gracenor, first of his name. I invite you to avail yourself of food and fuel at our expense. The only cost to you is a choice. The two stood at attention, looking at me expectantly. I spoke to the chief engineer. I spoke to, Sen to the Seneschal. I had heard more than enough. I was ready to make my choice. Let's speak to the engineer. I asked the chief engineer to elaborate. He looked at me for a long measured moment before speaking gruffly. We came to this island to make a home for ourselves and away from London. It's cats and snuffers, it's ratskin suits. We came to live as citizens of our own republic. We came with our tools, our teeth, our clever hands, and we made a beautiful city by the light of the rat star that shone bright and blue on Mount Ararat. The chief engineer nodded towards the distant hill. One day we braved the depths of the chicken woods, and from the top of Mount Ararat we plucked the rat star to be our light, our beacon. But the pigs of Cavi saw the light, and they lusted for it. They sent armies to rule us and steal our star. We will not permit them to take what is ours. We will resist to our last breath. Will you join us in defeating them? I spoke to the Seneschal. The Seneschal cleared her throat with a delicacy to rival the Duchess's own before speaking. Grace nor the King, our Lord and Sovereign, full seven months had sojourned on the sea, conquered this land and won the southern main. Now no fortress against him shall remain, no city walls be left for him to gain, save the rats that squeak behind mountain. Unlikely was the lamb of our deliverance, Assured shall be our glories, and their fall, when Our Lady's eye restored be to our hall. 
the seneschal composed herself, then added, We saw truth and beauty by the light of Our Lady's eye on Mount Caveat. But the rats, with their guns and their chatter, and their peasants' politics, stole it from us. We will subjugate them and take it back. They are a rabble, and we will rule them with the steel-shod velvet of our paws. Will you join us? I had heard more than enough. I attempted to broker a piece. Surely their commonalities were more numerous than their differences. Perhaps I, perhaps I could help them get along. The chief engineer and the seneschal shared a look, then regarded me with scornful amusement. Yes, smirked the chief engineer. You're obviously much cleverer than us. Oh, much, murmured the seneschal. You clearly know us much better than we know ourselves. Apparently, idealism would not help here. Well, stuff them then. Is there a shop? I have to make a choice. Am I able to broker a piece at all? No, 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 no. Side with the rats then, what the hell? I've gained one supplies, I've gained a fuel. Great, oh dear, well now what? Mm. It's an hour. I have to stop here. Let's take this adventure forwards in part five. I think this is the end of part four. Bye for now.